good morning. So it is not a coincidence, I don't believe, that in two of my podcasts um, that I listened to this morning, one's a devotional, one is Ed Milet, but in both of those today, they mentioned using your talents. So I don't find that as a coincidence whatsoever that the idea of using your talents was a theme across both of those. They're not related to each other in whatsoever fashion, but that was a theme in both of those and it made me really stop and think. And y'all, the football season just ended. I know, it's been a whole day. I'm okay. I'm getting there. It's getting better. But y'all, I just thought um, with this whole idea of using your talents and what I do every single day and coaching people to use their talents and um, putting yourself out there so that you can chase and pursue your dreams, your goals, and your passions in life. Is it easy? Absolutely not. But if you don't do it, somebody else will. Because here's the thing with talent. It's like it could be God-given. It could be a beautiful thing for you. It can be such a beautiful blessing. But what a waste if you do nothing with your talents. And that is the thing. And I love that quote that says that um, talent means nothing. Hard work will be talent any day. And it is so true because I think of this with my own journey. I think of this when I watch people and I follow their stories with how incredibly, um, how incredible that they've, all these things that they've overcome and the adverse adversities that they've overcome in their lives to get to the point of success that we see today. We don't see the hard parts. We don't see when they were in the mud and in the dirt and when they were going through their growing season. We see the highlights of where they're at and we think that that's so amazing and we applaud that and we want that for ourselves. But we miss out on that hard work part that doesn't get shared, that grind part that doesn't get shared because it is not glamorous. It is not shiny. It's not pretty. Um, and so we miss out on that. But y'all, there are so many people sitting on talents. There are so many people out there with half the talents of you, but they are achieving their dreams and their goals. And when you think about that, that should, that should sting. When you think about the fact that there are people half your, with half your talents, but they are achieving your dreams, your goals, your passions because you choose to do nothing because you're scared and you won't make a move. That should hit hard. And when I think about how scary some of the things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis, I think about that and I say, I say that that is like what I feel in that moment is not as important as the end result, as the end goal. So despite, this is why feelings are really, really tricky. You should do whatever it is that you have a goal of doing. Your goals for the new year, your goals for your personal life, your business life, that you'd like to make $200,000, $500,000 this year. Those goals of yours, you have to work to achieve those goals despite how you feel. And it does start with talents, but talent is backed up by hard work. Nothing replaces hard work, y'all. Nothing whatsoever. And so listening to both of those this morning really, really, really made me go, dang, I haven't shared this message in a while and I need to share. So, um, but yes, there's a lot of people out there, y'all. And I, we love Will Smith. We will watch Will Smith movies. I grew up watching Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I will still stop and watch Fresh Prince of Bel-Air anytime that I see it on the TV guide. But y'all, one of the things that he has always said is that hard, he will work hard and nobody will beat him. And that sets him apart from everybody else. And I love hearing him say it because I can see that, that the fire in Will Smith's eyes when he says this, like if somebody is getting on a treadmill next to him, oh, somebody's going to die because he is not getting off that treadmill until that person gets off the treadmill. So think about that when you're pursuing your goals in life, when you are thinking about, oh man, it's been four weeks into the new year. I'm going to quit on my goals because I don't see results yet yet is such a finicky word yet tricks us into thinking that we are really far from our goals when maybe just maybe with a little bit more hard work and that talent that you were born with perhaps maybe with a little bit more of both of those things that yet is tomorrow the next day the next month 
but yet tricks us because we think that things aren't happening fast enough, but we aren't in control of that. So what are your talents? What are your abilities? What are your gifts that you can give to this world? And why are you sitting on those things?